What is the difference between truth and fact? That's what I want to talk about this morning. What is the difference between truth and facts? Now, to the casual Uh, observer when they investigate this these two things they're not going to be able to see a difference and, and, and let me start out by saying this as well truth the concept of truth and the concept of fact can be related but just as much as they can be related they can be unrelated and I'm going to show you how truth is something that emanates from God uh, Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man cometh unto the Father except by me truth is a living being even Jesus the Christ. Truth is something that is more weighty than fact in many respects. If I would make a comparison between truth and fact, truth would represent Truth would represent the birthing process of the baby. The pregnancy would represent the coming to get, let me say it this way, the coming together of the sperm and the egg would represent truth. And uh, the coming together of those two things would generate truth. So, just like the body without life, the body and life equals a being, truth Facts plus the truth would equal, you know, facts in the life of the believer would equal truth. So facts and truth. I think what happens with a lot of Christians, we do not see the difference between fact and truth. We don't know the difference of how to live by the truth rather than by the fact. And, and I'm going to tell, show you this way. Truth is something that gains control of the mind through submission. Facts, on the other hand, it's like a library full of books and you haven't read one of them. Facts is like having an app for the for any resource, knowledge resource center, and then you never use it. Many Christians, the vast majority of Christians and every single denomination is based on facts. Listen to what I said. The vast majority of Christians and every single denomination is based on fact. I didn't say all Christians. I said the vast majority. 
How vast? Um, I think the flood would be a good example. How many people made it on the ark? Eight. How many didn't? The rest of the world. That's how hard it is to find truth. Somebody that lives by truth. They have been converted to the truth. Most, the vast majority of Christians are getting baptized into facts. They're not getting baptized in the truth. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is nothing more than a baptism into the truth. That's all it is. It's a baptism in the truth. It's a public and private living out of the truth in your life. While the vast majority of Christians are have been baptized into facts. Facts do not, you don't have to submit to facts. You don't have to be convicted by facts. You can just have a whole bunch of um, information in your head to make uh, to make a differentiation between you and another person or another denomination. That's what facts do. That's what facts most often are used for. It's ammunition to fight against something else that you don't believe in that they might believe in. May or may not believe. Facts on the truth, on the other hand, totally different. Truth gains the homage of the will. Truth in the life of any person shows that they are on the path to either being born again or they are born again already. Do not get truth and facts mixed up. The vast majority of any preaching in any denomination you're going to hear is basically facts. And I, I, I'm, at, I'm to the point now, I don't believe a denomination can put out truth. No, they put out facts and they call it truth. They masquerade facts as truth. See, the reason why this differentiation is necessary is because Satan is going to present all kind of facts to you. And he's going to mask them as the truth. Will they be factual? Absolutely. They will be factual. Oftentimes, they will be factual. If you look at many of the things that uh, Satan said to Jesus in the three temptations, there were some facts there. No truth. See, truth is a spiritual being. The Godhead. The Godhead never works in tandem with Satan. Hence, Satan can never present the truth. Never. No matter how factual it is, it can't be truth. Why? It's something because Satan is presenting something that he has never submitted to. His conscience is seared against all that facts can develop into. So facts are related to truth. But facts don't necessarily have to be true. When you go to a court of law, the way our legal system is set up, it's up on facts. They're not seeking to find the truth. Yeah, they tell you to solemnly swear that you will give the truth, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and all that. <laughs> yes, they say that. But that's but 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 the courts do not make a legal definition. And a distinction between facts and truth. They don't. They don't. They don't understand the spiritual nuances. That's why you can have a person on death row and they're not even guilty for 28 years. Not even guilty. Was nowhere around.
And some of these things are not even facts, y'all. Some of them are just, some of them is just uh, lies, out like outright lies. So, I just wanted to, oh boy, excuse me. I just wanted to throw that out to you. Mm. The facts and the truth. Think about that. If you have any questions, you know, drop me a line. Uh, I'd love to talk to you or you can call me. And uh, maybe you want some scriptures on this. That's fine too. But anyway, this is Prophet 6. Family prophet to the angel of the church to the lay of the sin. God bless you. Bye.